when I was young, we used to go in circles to tell each other's story. Normally, like my grandmother used to sit and tell us stories. So today I want to tell you a story about some special woman. So I will call it once upon a woman, a Palestinian woman. Once upon a Palestinian woman, she been asked to leave her country, to flee, because somebody decided they have a right, some kind of religious or hysterical right to her land. So she been asked to move. She been told it's few days, then you come back. For her bad luck, she went in labor the minute she left her home. So she delivered a baby girl. And she had one hour after delivery to continue walking for thousands of miles for three, four days. All what she had is some bread. And silly her, she took the key to her house with her because she thought she's going back. That was in 1948. She had a girl, she fled to Jordan. Some of her family flew to Lebanon. Her daughter lived in Jordan, and she got married, had children. She lived in a Palestinian camp because they refused to move outside of the Palestinian camp because they wanted to go back. The woman used to tell her children, this is the key. We have the key. We will go back. That woman died after she lost many of her children in civil wars, struggle, and her daughter took the key. <coughs> and then her daughter gave birth to seven girls. And she always told them, we have a key. We need to go back. Unfortunately, after a struggle with a bad cancer, that woman died as well. And she left the key between these seven girls. One of the girls decided that I want to move to a civilized world. I want to go and explore in a country where there are human rights, freedom of speech, where actually she can give her children, her girls, a better life. And guess what? She didn't even get that. They used to sit, the three generations, and say, all defects in life, all misperfections, skip a generation. This is what science at least says. Apart from the suffer for the Palestinian woman, never skipped a generation. All of them had to go through the suffer. All of them has to live the sorrow. And you guess what? That daughter who came to give her children better life in a civilized world discovered that it's not civilized. It's civilized for others. It's like George Orwell Animal Farm. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. She happened to have the wrong skin color and that woman is standing here in front of you telling her story and asking where did we go wrong the Palestinian woman what did we do to deserve all of this why sorrow didn't skip one single generation what do we have to do more do we need to stop breathing so the, the world can breathe what are we expected to do? Where do we, we do need to go? We still have the key. Can't we go and open our door and use that key after all these years? That's my story.